when the Mohegan Tribe uh, Athletic Commission claimed you failed a medical test. Can you talk about that test, the failure, and how much it's impacting your return to the cage and just future in the sport? Well, I mean, yeah, it's certainly impacting things as, as I had a fight. Well, I had a fight, which in the end wasn't, wasn't even going to happen anyways. Like, mm-hmm. it all got canceled. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, as far as, like, you know, medicals are concerned, there is still a limit or not a limit. There's still a aspect of uh, discretion and which can be entirely subjective. And so, you know, we're, we're straight up. We always deal with them 100 uh, percent with with complete transparency. And and they just decided to, to one thing they agreed upon to then re, you know, go, go back and take it away and, or, or say that they don't like it or they're not, you know, whatever. And so that's just the way it is. But that's what happens when you deal, deal with bureaucratic uh, agencies as it is. It's just always the risk that you run. And I, I, it's frustrating sometimes to try to explain to people that these things are often can be very arbitrary in the way that they do things. It's mm. just up to their own discretion. And so it isn't always so cut and dry. And sometimes that just is a pain in the ass. But if you if you don't want to deal with that, then I guess the one thing would be to try like make your own thing. So like if I wanted to create a professional wrestling uh, product, well, I'm doing that with Bloodsport along with uh, with GCW and Brett. Uh, if I wanted to create my own fight event, okay. But you know, uh, every state has their sanctioning bodies. There's always some sort of oversight, and and I'm not the person to say that that these things are all like I'm not taking the total and cap complete libertarian uh, viewpoint in that, you know, no regulations ever on anything whatsoever. Mm, yeah. um, but, you know, everything comes with pluses and minuses. 